It's a heartfelt kind of synergy, this poetry within me, that beats against the walls of my soul. I didn't know how the fleeting need for material was ready for a burial, or that the ethereal prism refracted before us would lead to a thesaurus in my case, but it amazes me how the spaces in the rhythm of these words converge into a restless sense of wonder. And as lightning loves thunder, this pen loves this simple pad of paper, like a vapor sublimated from my icy heart by the match in my mind, each paragraph permeates the air I breathe. Each longing my heart endures that I become better for procures a page of my life in its own small metaphor, a Hershey's kiss for the soul's sweet tooth. But there can be no possession of a soulful expression, for words are not owned but borrowed, and tomorrow some of the sorrows of yesterday will find their own way while the rest they stay to define you. This is how poetry is born. And for some, each new heartbreak allows it to breathe. Oh, how I can't conceive of a different way to write, as if those darkest nights have a hold of my hand and my heart, and I start to think back like the blood dripping into the kitchen sink. This ink finds its way into memory. She said, your words steady me. But I don't know how. Listen to the voice within. What's it saying now? This is where you begin. Take a sample from the following example of an ample area of my own heart. Cheek to cheek for four score weeks on a dance floor built for two is enough to know what is true and what is fantasy. Some love for the money and some love for the thrill, but when Cupid took aim this time, I know he shot to kill. So I'm sleeping on my windowsill, watching the stars fade for the morning, thinking of soaring from this height. It feels right! except that I know that I don't have wings. The relief a soul-spoken word brings can change your life. There's solace in a clean white page. Untangle your rage from the web that you weave and realize that words can be thicker than the air you breathe.